What's up guys? I have an uh, old school training method for you and this is designed to make a lightweight feel heavy. Okay, now right now as you know, uh, fitness equipment is in really, really short supply because everyone's bought it up. Okay, so uh, people have to get creative and you need to learn how to make a lighter weight feel heavy. And in fact, you don't necessarily need heavy weights, but that really is the key, you know, making a lightweight feel heavy. You know, it's very important. Uh, Frank Zane, former uh, Mr. Olympia in the 77 to 79, he used to like saying that, all right? And now here he is today, almost 80, and uh, he's fine. You know, he doesn't have any major injuries, anything like that. And some of his contemporaries who always train really heavy, you know, they've had all kinds of stuff happen to them. So there you go. Okay, there's some value in that. So one and a half training, it's exactly how it sounds, okay? You're taking a, a one full rep and then repeating it with a half rep, okay? And you can do it with just about any exercise, okay? So we take the squat, for example, okay? I'm gonna go down here to the rock bottom. Here's the half and there's a full. There's the half and there's a full, okay? You can do this with or without weights, but I think in the beginning it's better to do it without weight, okay? Half and full, half and full. It can also be like a quarter. As well. It doesn't need to necessarily be a full half and, and you'll feel that that extra half rep, it gives you that extra fat, uh, fatigue, a bit of an extra pump, you know, it really helps to work the muscle a bit harder, okay? Now that's one example. Um, another one could be uh, dumbbell curls, all right? So here we go. So what I'll do, what I'll do here is I'll go half, or sorry, full and then half. Full and then half. Now I can, you can choose where to do the half. You can either do it in the bottom or in the contracted position. So now in the case of the squat and this, I'm doing it in the bottom position, but it could also be done up here. See? There we go. Okay. And oh, and with the rowing as well, let's do, a, let's do one more here for you. Okay. So, rowing. So, knees bent, butt out, bend forward. Okay, so one, and there's the half. Two, half. Three, half. Four, half. There you go. So there's a, and so, uh, you know, this can be done with any exercise. These are a few examples. Um, if I'm doing overhead press, same thing. I can go like up, half. What, you know, or top position or whatever, okay? So uh, these things, um, they, it really helps you to, uh, to feel the muscle. Sometimes people complain that they can't feel the muscle working. You do a few sets of these one and a half reps and you'll definitely feel the, the, uh, the muscle for sure after that, okay? There's no way you can't, all right? So there's your tip for the day. One and a half reps, okay? And, uh, can be done with any exercise. It can make any exercise harder and it can make a lighter weight feel heavy. So not only could it be safer for your joints and things, but it can help you out during this time when no one has any equipment, you know? So there you go. Eventually we'll, the stores will get it back, but right now they're all cleaned out. So anyway, I checked. Okay. Anyways, okay, uh, that's it for today and uh, talk to you guys soon, all right?